Hey guys, welcome to a new guide video. Today I will be showing you guys how to play one of the absolute strongest late game mages, AP Kog'Maw. So I build this sequence on this champion. You max E first because that is his main damage and wave clear. Then Q second for poke and then W last. We are playing the AP poke version so that's why you are not putting, uh, you are not maxing W. So you want to start with W level 1 because it gives you some real nice uh, damage in the early stages, uh, helps you farm because you get that extended auto range and you can poke your opponent as well if it's a melee champ. It does steal a decent amount of damage but remember this is AP Kog'Maw, it is a super late game champion so you are not going to do a whole lot in the early stages. You want to get that tier ASAP and then you want to get that stacked. We're just gonna play it safe here and if he walks up too far we're just gonna poke him with auto attacks like we are here. There we go, that's a really nice trade. We do have Comet so we have a lot of poke. We want to base when we have enough gold for it here so we can get that stacked as soon as possible and really speed up our scaling. Remember guys, this is one of the best uh, late game champions. His ult range is an entire screen guys. So you can pretty much poke people when they can't even see you on the map. That's how insane it is and in the later stages of the game you just one shot squishy targets as well. Alright, we're really poking this guy down to super low HP level so we pretty much have control of the laning phase right now. That's what you can do against melee matchups but it's not really going to help a lot against ranged ones. So in that case you just want to farm it out. Be careful of not pushing too much because he is immobile. So you will get ganked all the time if you push too much so just keep the wave at your side whenever you can. Alright, maxi first guys, that is your main damage. He's super low HP, let's get a ward out here. Still don't have enough for tier. We can use that W when he walks up to farm a creep so we can poke him a lot. Okay, Riven is bot side. Oh, she got a kill, okay. We don't want to push because she might be ganking mid soon. Just poking him whenever that uh, Arcane Comet is off cooldown. Just for that efficiency. We don't have enough for it here. Almost there. Watch out. Can't really do much in the early stages as Kogma, so a lot of people don't. Uh, respect that and try to force fight so it's not that good for you because you want to scale first. Alright, so now we have enough for a tier so we should look to recall. So of course we don't have a lot of damage with a tier so at this stage most mid laners have prior over you so you'll be the one playing super defensive. Because W does make it easier to last it as well, because it deals more damage. So we are hidden here, so that's good. That's all you need to do, you don't need any kills, um, you don't need to go for kills. Unless of course the enemy is somehow causing bad trades. Even if your team is uh, getting destroyed, if you can get that late game stage, you can easily carry the game guys. People never expect the damage from this uh, version of Kogma. Alright, let's get out of here. We do have level 6, so now our wave clear is a lot better. As you can see, one E and one proc of your ultimate will delete the backline minions. And that is because your ultimate deals bonus damage to targets that are low HP. 
below 40%. Get that T item here. We should have based earlier, but I wanted a bit more on my first base. There we go, get a control ward as well, we can just teleport back, so we are not losing anything. We can just E this wave here, and then hold the back line, and they're gone. That's how easily you can wave clear, once you get a couple items. And it's only going to get better from here. So if he decides to roam now, we can show him in really fast. Of course, be careful you don't have too many stacks on your ultimate, because it will end up costing too much. Especially at this stage where you don't have that much mana yet, so... Be careful of that. Galio is of course pretty good against mages, so we are not really dealing that much damage at this point. So what we can do, we're just gonna keep shoving him in, because we have the way clear now. Okay, it's just fine. As you can see, if we are spamming, spamming our abilities, then we would run Oom pretty fast, so... That's a nice poke there. Now ultimate will deal bonus damage because he's low HP. So we could potentially burst him down. He is healing back up. Let's just push this here, so if Kalyo roams, then he's gonna lose this wave. Oh, he's dead. Yep, we can't do much with Kog'Maw early game. Oh, almost got that kill. Oh, it's fine, we can't do much here. That's how it is for the AP Kog'Maw guys. If they fight a lot in the early game, then it's very limited what you can do. Think of a Cassidy in the early game, it's very similar. You need those items first before you can really help your teammates. Alright, let's base and get that last chapter. We are super far ahead in CS, so even though he has a kill, we still have more gold. That is why farming is so important. Just use your abilities in base while you are retaining mana, so you can stack this item here. Enemy team is winning at this point, but we don't care. As long as we can scale and get those items, we're just gonna wreck them in team fights. Right, get this wave here, one all to the back line, and the minions are gone right there. Don't want to lose the cannon, it's a lot of gold. We're just gonna keep showing this guy in, we can do that now easily. Go, he's stuck under the tower, so we can use that extra time to get some proper wards in, so we can see the enemy jungler movement. Elio might be roaming, so my teammates need to watch out. I'm just gonna spam ping SS because if you ping just once, then they don't really uh, look at it, so... Just if you think your laner is roaming, then just spam ping. Just to make sure that your teammates will see it. So your Q of course shreds um, resistances. So normally you want to use your Q first in a combo. Just so you can make use of that uh, resistance threat before you use your full damage. Alright, so that mana return from Lost Chapter really makes it uh, that much easier for us to stay in the lane. Now we can really start poking this guy. He's not used to playing against AP Kog'Maw at all. See all that damage we have? And we are not even anywhere close to reaching our power spikes. Alright, let's see who's coming mid. Looks like no one is. They are pretty low HP so I'm not scared. I'm just gonna get this tower place here. If I can get one more, that would be nice. I could get my Archangel staff when I base now. happening there. Okay, he's camping top. 
which I don't think is the best idea because he wants the red form and Rhaegar is a ranged champion so he will get the blue one. Alright guys, let's get that Archangel Staff, so one of the core items completed and that is the one we want to have transformed. We want Archangel Staff over Ludens Echo because this one scales way better, much better. Okay, what? So he has the Congra, but he's going the blue cane, okay. That's interesting. I was expecting him to go red cane because of this uh, keystone here, but oh well. So Argentus Staff is much stronger than Ludens Seiko in the late game, and it scales off of mana. So in the runes we have Presence of Mind, we have Mana Flow Band, so we get even more damage. So you always want to get the Argentus Staff guys. Need to watch out for the rooms. Talia has his ultimate up, but he is super far behind in CS. Alright, let's keep pushing this guy in here. We do have boots, so you might be able to make it out. I'm coming. Oh, this was warded. Alright, so he lost this entire wave here, so it's super worth it. The dragon is up, but we can't see it on the minimap because it's bugged. Since last patch, so that's a bit annoying. Alright, we have a lot of... We actually 10 CS per minute, guys. And all we did, we did nothing in this game, we just AFK mid and farm, like we should do on this champion, because it is a hard skilling champion. Alright, getting those cannon minions. We can base for boots again, but I think Galio might be trying to ult bottom lane, because they are going to fight, so I want to keep him here. I'm gonna take one more plate. Ribbon's coming. Alright, I just want to push this wave out. There we go, and that wave disappeared just like that. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh nice, okay. That is not too bad. Okay, I'm dead here. But the flash up. That passive is not really... It doesn't do much, but in a close fight like this, then if you can get on top of multiple people, then it's, it's actually pretty useful. But the flash up, we died, but it does not matter. Alright, so let's get tier 2 boots. Uh, you want to get those early on AP Kogma because it is a immobile champion, guys, so mobility is important. Just teleport back, it's no problems. Just delete the way like this here. Go, and we can push this fast as well. We still do have flash up. I did not want to waste that last fight because. If I don't have flash up, then they will just camp me. Okay, they are fighting here. Nice snipe. There we go. We already have a lot of damage right now. And our ultimate deals more damage if the target is low HP. At this point, you can just one shot low HP targets. Pushy ones. Alright, let's keep pushing here. We have a lot of gold right now, so we also need to base. But if we can get this tower, that would be huge for us. There we go. We have such a massive lead right now, guys. Still 10 CS per minute. That's all you have to do. Right now, we will get the Rylice.
because the slow makes it so good, uh, makes it much easier for you to land your abilities. And it is huge, especially if you spam your ultimate from a long range, you can just slow people constantly. Value is roaming bot for sure. Yeah, he is, he's on his way. I need to move down, even though I would prefer, okay, there. He's mid. Let's see here, if they're pushing, then I have to move down. I have much better way clear than Galio, so I should be able to get there first. I saw Riven moving mid. They really want that dragon. Oh, rip cannon. Okay, let's see. We have a lot of poke with our comp. Um, we have Varus. Lethality Varus and me. If I have to flash here, I probably don't have to. Got the ignite out of Galio. And I missed my entire thing right there. So that's pretty awful played by me. I could have done that much better. Nice. And down she goes. We, can, we should be able to get this guy as well. I do have my shield now with the uh, Seraph's Embrace. That blue buff would be so nice on me. Okay. We're still going for it. I would prefer not to. We should just take this Drake here. I don't want to tank though. Plus we don't have sustain on this champion, on the AP version. But we have a lot of damage. Crazy amount. And that ult range will just increase as we put points into it as well. Right now it's already going this range here, and it's going to increase one time more. So that's pretty much the entire screen away. Already one-shotting the casters with one knee. Oh nice, well played by our top laner. That's great, Maokai can do much better in team fights than Urgot. Even if he was losing lane, then we would not be too worried. Alright, let's get uh, back off and buy this Rylice here, so we have the slow, so it makes it harder for them to escape. You can just spam um, ult on them, so you can slow them from super long range, and that can help your teammates to catch up. Yeah, we have a cane coming in here, I'm gonna follow as well. Nice, that's a kill, right? Awesome. There we go. Hopefully they can take the bot lane tower. I'm still staying bot because I think Galio and Riven might be here. Okay, they're top side, so we should get the uh, bottom tower here. Oh, so fortunate I can't help him. He's super tanky though. Oh, rip. They could actually be in huge if Ergo didn't have his ultimate. Guys, we're just gonna keep push mid here. They have pretty low HP. See all the damage we have. We might get flanked. We need to get out of here. Bam, and we just deleted Morgana and she can't even see us. And that's only two points in ultimate. Wait until we have three points and we will just be screens away while one-shotting people. And of course Rylas does make it that much easier for us with the slow so it may so we can hit those skill shots. Alright, are they fighting here? Yep, they are. Let's get in and help them. Pop this one. We're just deleting people right now, guys. And we have the blue buff. It doesn't get better than this. Now we can spam abilities, spam our ultimate. Get this one stacked.
What can she even do against this though? And we got the flash out. Do you see how strong AP Kogmo is guys? This is just insane. I'm gonna back off and get this uh, mask here so I can buy it towards the uh, build towards the Lyandris. Because it deals more damage against targets that are movement impaired. So basically it works with our E but it also works with every other ability because we have the right eyes. They're not building any MR so we don't need to go for white stuff yet. So if they still don't have MR after we finish the Lyandris then we can go straight for a rabbit on stealth cap. Our rip cannon. We should just group right now because we have a lot of poke. Just gonna poke as much as we can. And there she goes. That's for only my ultimate guys. That is insane the amount of poke. He poking him and down he goes as well. And since we have presence of mind, we'll just constantly reach and mana whenever we get a takedown. Just keep poking people. We can easily siege like this. Okay, she used the shield there so we didn't get the slow. And down she goes as well. There is no counterplay to this champion if he gets to that late game stage. That's why he's one of the absolute strongest. Oh, and we are getting the um, Cloud Drakes now, so it's gonna reduce the cooldown even further on our ultimate. Oh, so are we losing a tower to tier 2? Oh no, that's not good. Okay, she's not pushing further, so now we can get this Landris here. So, the immobilizing bonus damage, and then the bonus damage for being in combat for longer duration. And you will be that because you will be spamming your ultimate, so it's just gonna deal more and more damage for each proc. So just your ultimate is enough to delete squishies. We just need two more levels for that level 16, then I can show you guys how OP it really is. Get a control ward here so I don't get flanked. We should just group as 5 and then we just siege. That's all we have to do. That's the flank coming in. That's a good thing we watered here. Let's just group as 5 guys. If she thinks Fox up, we're just gonna spam ultimate on her. I need to get out here, help me. Okay, I'm dead, I think. I overextended a bit too much. And they just used everything on me, so that's a mistake by me here. We should have grouped though, so Marka should have been mid right now. But we got the flashes out, so in next fight, they won't have anything to escape us. Okay, maybe they can get a kill here, because they don't have minions right now. Oh, Jinx almost went down. Okay, we do have teleport up. But we should really group mid right now. That would be the best play. And if we had Maokai mid, then I could have survived and then we could have won the fights easily. Oh, that was not a very smart thing to do. Just gonna stack up on control wards here so I don't get flanked. Okay, we need to be 5 mid right now. That is the best play we can do. We have a lot of poke, we have me and then we have Varus as well. So we're just gonna delete people. If they ever show themselves on our screen, then they will just disappear just like that. Okay, they're going bots, so I need to follow them. I can't be alone. Um, I don't have flash up right now. And we have zero mobility, so we want to stay with our team. Place a control ward here. So of course, this stance does make it harder to poke them. 
Oh my god, he, he flashed? I'm gonna take them, them down with me. Maybe he's dead as well? Oh, oh, he is. Nice. Okay, that is worth it. We got the flash out of this guy too. They are spending a lot just to get us down. Alright, pretty good. I think he might be dead though, Kane. Alright, he made it out, that's good. More AP, we're just gonna straight for the uh, Rebellion's here. He is buying MR, but we don't care about this guy, because we're going to poke these guys here. Even though he's buying MR, then our AD champs can deal with him, so we don't need to worry here. Just going for more poke. We need to be grouped. The drake is spawning soon as well. I'm almost level 16. Can get that crazy ult range. We're already dealing a lot of damage to this guy, even though he's uh, buying MR. And he has the dust stand, so he's still taking damage. Just gonna wait for my ult cooldown to reset all these stacks, so we don't lose all our mana now. Alright, he's low HP right now because we poked him, so we have an advantage this fight. Nice. Looking that guy as well here. I'm just waiting for people to walk up and then I can... Oh my god, this is not good. There we go. And now we are level 16, guys. Just gonna spam poke them. I'm gonna stay in the back line. Down and there they go. Just take this here. We can take the Baron as well. We have almost no cooldown on ultimate, guys. Less than a second. 0 0.6 seconds. We just spam this over and over. And it has such a crazy amount of damage as well. Just one shot this here. Right, let's see what we can do. We almost have enough for the Rabadons. Let's poke these things here. See our ult range. It's pretty insane. And we got the flash out once more, just with our ultimate. Gonna keep poking people down. And ruin down just like that. Zero counterplay, nothing they can do. They have to engage, if they don't engage, then they'll just die. I'm just gonna poke them here. I have a perfect spot right now. I'm gonna wait for the Sonyas. There we go. Absolutely destroy them with the AoE damage. Jinx doesn't have flash up. She's dead as well, and down she goes. We should be able to end the game here. We don't even have Rabadons yet. That would have been a really nice uh, spike. We don't have minions though, let's see. Oh, he's going to die, see? Get the streamer as well, just blowing up people. Alright guys, that was the guide. Hope this was helpful. And see you guys next time.